<laughs> no, 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 don't come. <coughs> Alright, real talk guys. I think spiders follow me. No really. Heck, there's one staring at me right now as I edit this video. No matter where I go, I'd usually catch one in the corner of my eye, just sitting there, staring at me, mocking me, and who knows what it's planning. If you live in the UK, I'm sure literally everyone has come across one of these house spiders. They typically come in one in three different classes. So you got the normal, small and thick, you have the tall and skinny, we like to call them daddy long legs. And then we have the ones that we never talk about. At least we don't get those insane spiders like in other places of the world. I would not survive. I'm talking to you Australian spiders. But after my long 24 years of experience in dealing with such spiders, I've concocted different strategies on dealing with them based on what class of spiders I encounter. Small types, I use the classic glass and paper trick, can't go wrong with that. Skinny and tall, I gently use my hands to uh, take them outside. And the big and thick ones, well, this is totally fine. I don't like killing spiders, but I have a dark history with those demons. So this one time I was having a discord call with a friend, but then I saw something creep up from the end of my bed. It was an eight-legged thick hairy beast. I saw it move in the corner of my eyes, but as soon as I moved my head to see it, it stopped moving. I wasn't too afraid because luckily I was protected under my blanket. But for no reason at all, it suddenly decided, hey, you know what's a good idea? Let's jump on this guy. Me and my lightning fast reflexes used the blanket to block and push the spider to the ground. I might have also overreacted and threw a bag on it. I then pulled the bag and saw it curled up. So apparently if a spider's leg curl up, it means it's been KO'd. But then it suddenly started moving again. And then it got me thinking, if this spider is clever enough to play dead, then it's clever enough to enact revenge someday. So I quickly grabbed a nearby glass and quarantined it. And two years later, it's probably still in that glass. I'm kidding. <laughs> I vacuumed that sucker up. Moral of the story, don't mess with me spiders. Or you'll get hoovered to spider hell. Unless you look like this. Seeing spiders so often had been so annoying that I tried googling it actually. Apparently everyone deals with this, but I firmly believe that I may have some sort of secret power that attracts spiders. Like some superhero. Like the spider human. No, the spider guy. <laughs>